All right, welcome to the part two of this uh, tutorial series. Uh, if you are new to NFTs and if you are watching this uh, part of the tutorial for the first time, please watch the part one where I'm giving you guys a basic explanation about NFTs. All right, let's get started. If you guys go to my Rarible Marketplace, uh, you can go through my website and select the collectibles or you can directly go to the link. I have placed my link under the description below. And in here, you can see my portfolio of the Rarables, which so far, what are the Rarables I have in here? Okay, so I will show you guys in this tutorial how to create Rarables for your own profile or using your own wallet, how to buy these Rarables as well. So first thing you need to create a Ethereum wallet. So you have multiple options in here. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to use MetaMask and link your wearable portfolio to the MetaMask wallet. And after that, you can buy or sell stuff in uh, wearables. All right. Okay, first thing, go to metamask.io. Please guys, be careful. Only go to this website. Do not download MetaMask from any other place, any other third party website. There are so many scams going on. So only download with their official website, which is metamask.io. Okay, so you should see something similar to this one. And if you go in here, you can see what is MetaMask about and what are they trying to do. And you can read the description or see this video in here. Let's download the MetaMask first. So in here, go to download and you can see a couple of options. And for our case, we need the extension for the Chrome and we are not going to install for Android or iOS. In this case, it's for Windows and Chrome. So go to the Chrome and install the Chrome extension, which will open up your Chrome extension in your Chrome uh, marketplace. And in here, just click add to Chrome, which will add the MetaMask. Just, just say add extension, which will add the MetaMask to your Chrome, all right? It has been added. Now let's start setting up our MetaMask wallet. All right. So just click on get start. And in here, you can see two options. One is for creating a new, brand new wallet. And the other one is recovering or reinstalling your already existing wallet. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to create a new wallet first. And then we will see how to connect to your already existing wallet as well. Okay. First thing, go in here, click on create a new wallet. As you can see in here, it will give you some instructions. Please read all these instructions, guys. It's really, really important. If you make any mistakes, sometimes you won't be able to recover your wallet after that. If you do that, you may permanently lose your money. So these instructions are very, very important. So read through the instructions and just click to the next step. And in here, MetaMask will ask you to create a new password. This password in here only for the extension. So you need to remember this password to access your wallet. Okay. If you forget this password, you have to reset your MetaMask. After that, you have to reinstall again. Okay. So create a new password in here. This is for your Chrome extension and go to the next step, which is the most important step for any digital wallet installation so this is very important guys in here you will be given a 12 word seed space okay so this is like the private key so this is very very important if you lose this phase you will not be able to access your wallet afterwards okay and also keep this in a secret place don't share this with anyone if you share this with anyone, anyone can recover your wallet and uh, steal your money. All right. OK, so I'm going to open this face. I'm not going to use this wallet. This is just for the tutorial. So you guys can see in here I have given 12 seed fades. First thing, open a notepad or something and copy and paste your 12 words into your notepad. All right. Now let's go to the next space, which it the MetaMask will ask you to uh, place the words which has been given to you in order. So by seeing your notepad, you can just uh, put them in order like this in here. Okay, so once you are done, if you've done it correctly, your wallet will be created after the confirmation. And once you confirm, uh, your wallet is ready. So it's just a token swapping message. We This is not important for this tutorial. I'm just going to close this one. And your Ethereum wallet is now created in here.
okay all right so now you can connect your metamask wallet to wearable account and what i'm going to do is since i already have an account i'm going to uninstall this metamask wallet and install a new version and in that i'm going to recover my existing wallet okay you need money in your wallet at least some small amount to connect your wallet because there is a gas fee involved okay if you don't have any money like in this wallet it's zero ethereum without the gas fee we won't be able to properly connect to our metamask okay to uninstall go into the plugins and in here select the extension you want to uninstall and just remove it it will completely remove the metamask from the google chrome and for our new installation just add again uh, do the same steps as earlier uh, or you can go back to metamask and again you can download from here just to be safe and just add to chrome again again it's the same step as earlier follow the instruction and i will just fast forward to our step where we choose to install the new or existing ones so in here this time i'm going to choose import existing wallet okay so just click on agree and in here you need to give the seed phase which is associated with your original account that's what i say guys if you forget or didn't back up your seed phase earlier you won't be able to recover so i already have my seed phase for my account which is connected with the rareable account so i'm going to paste that seed phase in here and now we give a new password this password is for the chrome extension and just a okay and it will all recover my wallet it's very fast you can see my wallet has been recovered and there is 0.02 ethereum which is like 13 dollars worth of ethereum in here okay so this is my account and you guys can see there are two accounts just ignore that because uh, i have created another account previously with the same wallet we are not going detail on that one yet so what we can do in here is we can rename this account so it's easier for us to identify which account go to your account details from here which will open up your account details as you can see there is a qr code which is representing your public key so this will be your account public key you can share this with other people but you you don't share your seed phase or private key okay so we can rename this account from here i'm just going to rename this one as digital creation wearable or something okay so once you're done you can make it correct and you can just close this one in here okay all right so the next step uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to pin my metamask wallet uh, on top of this google chrome so it's easier for us to see the notifications and stuff so we don't need to go in inside and open the metamask wallet so just pin it first now let's go ahead and connect our wallet with the wearable account go to wearable account and select connect to wallet which will open up this space as you can see there are a couple of options in here we are going to connect to the metamask wallet just select metamask wallet and which will open up this pop-up window and select the correct account in our case it's the digital uh, wallet and just continue the step just say okay and connect it will connect it since i have already created this account there is no gas fee it's just straight away connected but if you guys opening a new account you guys need to have money in your wallet because to connect and after that to upload artworks you need money to spend for the gas fee okay so basically you need ethereum in your wallet to purchase artworks or create artworks so how are we going to buy ethereum using metamask there are a couple of options based on where you stay it can be very so if you stay in certain countries you can directly buy using the wire services if you go in here you can go in and directly buy uh, ethereum using your bank account directly into your metamask wallet but most countries these services are not available so i'm going to show you guys a very common option i'm going to use binance and send ethereum using binance account to it my wallet binance is the biggest exchange in the world so most of the countries you should be able to buy 
uh, Ethereum or any other currency using Binance. If you don't have access to Binance, the steps are going to be same. You can purchase Ethereum from whatever exchange available in your country and then transfer it to your metamask wallet okay first thing before you do anything you need to know your public address to get the public address you can go in here to the ethereum and click on it you can see the qr code and below there is the address so this is where you are going to send ethereum for if you send it to any other place you will lose your money okay so now i'm going to log into my binance account Okay, so I will hide some of these parts, my username and passwords and stuff. I don't want to show it to the world. All right, so now I'm logged in. Now I will go to my wallet in here. Uh, you can go to the Fiat and Crypto Wallet. And in here also, I will hide some stuff. I search for Ethereum, ETH, okay? So go into Ethereum and you can see in here, uh, I can do a couple of options from here. I can deposit or withdraw. In this case, I'm going to withdraw this from Binance account and send it to the MetaMask. And once you select withdraw on your right, you can see there's an address bar. So in this address bar, you should copy the address from your MetaMask account and paste it in here. This must be done properly, guys. You just copy straight away from the address and paste it in here. But as you guys can see, I already have this address in my Binance account because I have transferred previously. So I will select that from here. And the second most important option is you need to choose which network. If you choose the wrong network, it may failure to deliver as well. So for our case, we need to choose the third one Ethereum ERC20. So when you transfer Ethereum, it's most of the time it's going to be ERC20 address okay so choose the network and in here you can select the amount uh, i'm going to select maybe 0 0.1 okay and if everything okay just select submit which will ask you to uh, verify the two, two fa verifications and after you are done uh, if it, it will show the successful message but you may need to wait for a while it will take some time from your exchange to transfer it to your account and you also need to wait for the blockchain to uh, confirmation and you can always go go in here and go to the ethereum network and see the status of our transaction so let's give it a time it will come very fast i think within a couple of uh, within a minute you will receive the money in your wallet okay let's go back to the metamask and refresh yes so our money is already in our metamask wallet as you can see in here we have received 0 0.095 the 0 0.005 was went for the gas fee so we have received uh, about 60 dollars worth of usd uh, today all right all right guys so that's how you create the metamask ethereum wallet and link the wallet to wearable nft application in our next part i will show you guys how to use this wallet and the wearable to create nfts Alright guys, see you guys in the next uh, part.